<laughs> hey guys, this is Vest, and welcome back to another artist help. And this time, I'm going to teach you guys how to make an anime burger. So let's jump right into it. So yeah, you want to get a new page, new layer, everything, and um, have your reference of your burger. Um, I use this one right here. You can find a regular old burger. And um, what I suggest everybody do is like, like sketch out to the best of your abilities what the burger looks like. So now that you got your sketch, you know, um, you basically got your burger and everything sketched out pretty well. Um, what you do is you lower your opacity. Um, this is this is for digital wise you lower your opacity but if you're doing it traditionally um just have your colors out i guess um so what you want to do is you want to do the bun part so for the bun part um i like to get that dark color that's up on top you see that brownish color right here i would like to get that part up here and um start doing my bun that way um once you get your once you get that i will say like you know tone down the color just a little bit like a little bit not too much just enough you know so that you can um you can go ahead and you can do the line work if you want to you can get it right in this corner where the mayonnaise and the and the you know ketchup meat and stuff like that you can get it right there in that corner and that will also be a nice color to work from so once you get that color um just do the bun part um, i'm going to do the top part and i'm going to do the bottom part so this is how i'm going to show you guys how to do it so that's basically how that's basically how you want the bottom you basically want a little bit wiggly like you can see what i did here it goes a swoop wiggles 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 and then another swoop up um i'm not gonna add the other stuff that goes to it just leaving it just like so so you should have by now these two lines that are brown that goes with your sketch um now what you want to do is you want to do the cheese i will say so that you can work your way to the um, burger so what we want to do is get that cheese color and you want to get that dark part of the cheese. You don't want the light part of the cheese because the light part is not the one that we're looking for. So I will say near the the um near the meat, you want to get that color. And then you want to come over here to your page. Um, if you want to, if you're comfortable, you can do it on another layer. If not, you can continue on, you know, just regular. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mimic this cheese right here. With the green leaves, I would say don't touch that at all. Like don't try to um, wiggle it around like you would do the meat. So yes, guys, we're going to go that way with this. Okay, guys, so um, went ahead. I wiggled out the cheese. I didn't, um, I didn't add the top piece to it because I feel like I want to add the color to it. So for the beef part... Again, you want to grab that um, that darkness of that beef. Um, I will say that rich brown color. Um, you know that it's on this. I will say like towards the corners, you can get that rich brown color that you need. Um, you can even go a little darker. So I will say go just a little tad bit darker because when you play with the colors, it it works for you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding that also. So, um, again, if you want to put that on a different layer, you can. If you don't, then, you know, just do it traditionally like I would. Um, that's what I'm doing now. I'm not putting it on a different layer or anything. So, yeah, if you want to, you could just go add some, like, you know, wiggles. I'm adding wiggles now. And that's helping it a little bit more. Like so. Just add it all over the place. It just helps with the burger itself so just you know add little wiggles it don't have to be perfect again just has to look like a burger and what burgers do <laughs> so yeah guys just add those little wiggles you can even make y's and ends and just wiggly everything and you can see that it, it, it's coming out just a little bit more you know 
like so. So the next thing you want to work on is the letters. The letters again, you just want to grab that dark color. I like to grab the one that's inside, like inside this leafy part. We'll go over here. And that green is looking a little bit more. Yeah, it has to look like this. That's a lot more greener. It looks better. So yeah, I will say go with that green and just, you know, wiggle it in like so. And now when you want to make the uh, letters look 3D, you can just always like bring it downward, like have just that look come in downward. And that will help it, you know, look like letters, like it's folding and creasing and all that good stuff. You know, that lettuce does. <laughs> I'm going to speed this up so that you guys could, you know, basically go crazy with your letters. You don't have to be perfect again. Okay, so once you did your lettuce, you want to do your tomatoes. So again, just so that you know, just go get that um, really dark part of the lettuce. I would say like maybe this dark part right there, like between. It'll help, you know, bring it out and uh just go crazy with all the colors so like even with the pickles the pickles you get the dark part you do the line work you just keep doing the line work with that dark part and then we can skip on to the next one so i'm going to just finish this off and then we can skip on to the next step tip for the mayonnaise you just want to get that um you know that little honey part honey looking part and um you know Put the mayonnaise on top of your you know your pickle all right after you're done your burger should be looking like something something like this like you know with different colors and just um going ahead and you know having it the way it is so when you want to go ahead and you want to color it i always get the brightest colors so that we can go ahead and add like you know the the um the shades and you know a little bit more of the darkness and you know the the textures so you want to grab that lightest color so i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna shimmy size this burger i'm gonna grab like the highlights colors i'm gonna finish that up and then we'll come back to what we got to do next with the whole thing for the pickles you want to make sure you have that two-tone you want to have the light skin part on there and also the um you know because Pickles are light skin in the inside and have that green on the outside. So you want to have both those colors in there. So remember that. All right. By now you should have your burger looking like this. It looks like a pale, ugly, crabby patty burger. <laughs> a pale burger. So um, well, let's start off with um, the bun first. We're going to do with the top bun and then we're going to work our way down. So what you want to do is make another layer or if you're doing traditional, just, just do it on your thing. Get the line color that you had make sure that it's dark enough you know if you want to you can eye drop the um the bun and you want to just come around the edge with it just so that it can look almost identical to what you have there so just like you know burn it up a little <laughs> and then also hit off the top um, you can go with a, a nice big airbrush over it just like once and then just you know add the deep colors in there don't be scared to you know play around with it now another thing that I like to do is there's this um if you're using manga studio there's this uh it's this brush tool it's called hatch cross hatching or you know uh a glazed cloud basically um i like to lower the the burn like not the burn but you know make it more a little bit brighter not too bright but just a little bit and then go over it like so so it could look like a bun so like you see how it looks like it's cross hatching all over you just want that little bit of cross hatch on it and just you know cross hatch over on top and then what you want to do is get that that color make it a little bit more deeper like more brownish and cross hatch right on top of it and that's what helps with giving that bun that cross hatch look you know as if it was like you know it was cooked in the oven it, was, it has a texture to it basically um 
another thing I like to do is you know lower that just a little bit where the food meets like you know the mustard and all that just a little bit on the edge so that I could just make it look like it was you know it was burnt a little not burnt but you know have that nice crisp to the bread and this is so bad because I'm keto so <laughs> I don't eat bread but you know what I'm talking about <laughs> and you know just give it that little bit of cross hatching all over it and you know your bun should look texturized like so like it should have that texturized look um i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna you know trickle it down to the bottom just so that we can get that in there too so real quick doing that yep so it should be something like this um again guys it doesn't have to be perfect you're just making it try you know give it that look um and you know make it look as edible as possible <laughs> um, so with the burger with that same cross hatching with the burger um, you want to get that dark frame you know flame boy broiled <laughs> look okay what you want to do is you want to grab your cross hatching you make it nice and big and you want to cross hatch the whole thing just like so don't be scared just tap it then after you're done with that, you want to make the brush a tad bit smaller. You want to go around the food like so, just around it. Nothing too crazy, just get it around the food. And if you know that there's lettuce coming out of it, just come down with it, you know, come down with the cross hatch because uh, you want to give that illusion that the lettuce is huge on top of that food. So, you know, just bring it over, make it look nice and togetherness. Yep, nice and togetherness. Just make sure that it's, you know, coming down on that food. Another thing that I like to do is, you see where you made those lines at? You want to make the brush a tad bit more smaller. And you just want to, you know, make lines. You want to follow those lines around just to give it more of that frame boil look give it that ground beef look you just want to play with that and then when you know that there's supposed to be darker you could come up on it just you know play around with the ground beef so it could look like ground beef guys that's what you want to do food is not perfect so it doesn't have to be perfect you're just trying to make that illusion digitally traditionally any way that you're trying to do it you know um you just try to make that illusion. Uh, it looks good, but I like to enhance it a little bit more. So you see how I got this light color here. You want to grab that light color. And you want to make little dots all over the place with that. And I, again, follow your lines that you created on the opposite side of, the, um, of what you created. Because that's where it's going to work. It's going to make it look... Like a cheeseburger, you know? You just gotta follow. It's just the contrast. The contrast between it is gonna make it pop. So that's what you want with this type of, you know, this type of food. And, you know, you could tap it, tap, and then bring it down a little with a light tap so that it could, you know, make that illusion for you. Make sure that it connects in some type of way. And you see how it, it brings out that look? Um, Another thing I like to do is just take the airbrush and just go over it just a tad bit and it'll give you that look that you're looking for with the, you know, with the sparkliness and how it's supposed to look. Another thing that I like to do is I like to grab a second color from it. So you see how you got this pinkish color right here? That's perfect. Um, you can always add some of that with um you know with this cross hatching so you can add some of it just so that it could work a little bit better on it and it just helps with bringing out the food you know so that's how you want your you know the the cheeseburger look to have you know so now with the cheese the cheese is gonna have more of a smoother look and you know what you want to do with the cheese is you want to grab that cheese up and then with that darker color 
you want to smooth it out with the um, the airbrush tool and you just want to make it nice and smooth and the parts that needs to be darker make it darker don't be scared just make it nice and rich make it that nice cheesy rich color um, I like to go a little darker sometimes so you can do it a little darker on areas that needs to be dark like the top where the letters meet and the uh, you know the tomatoes meet the cheese um, even like where it's supposed to tuck in a little we're supposed to tuck in a little you can go ahead and add that darkness you know another thing I like to do is I like to add some highlight to it so I go off with a white with this with the um, soft brush and just go over it just give it that highlight around where you want the cheese to like look like it's melting and have that gloss so that's what you want to do on that area and if you want to lighten it up just open it up a little bit more and make it light and it should look like that it should look like the cheese this is a, like an illusion of the cheese coming down <laughs> off the burger so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do that to the rest of them and you can see what I'm talking about all right so your cheese should look like that real melty um, have that white highlights and those dark oranges just to make it pop a little bit you want to do the same thing to basically the lettuce the tomatoes and the ketchup and the mayo so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do that to all of those then we can move on to the onions and the pickles for tip for lettuce um, you want to go with your lines you want to make sure you when you do the darkness you go with your lines so it could help with bringing out the vegetable whatever you're trying to elude okay so once you're finished and you're all done with that what you want to do is you want to highlight your pickles um what i like to do is i like to first um do the shading for it so you're going to go ahead and you're going to do your smooth shading over the pickle like if you know like we've been doing which is just you know all the darkness you will go around and you will just you know put the darkness where food overlays so that it doesn't look all weird when you um, have it you know there another thing that I like to do with this is I like to make my brush a little bit smaller so I can make strikes going down because pickles are cucumbers so they have like this stripe type thing going with them so make sure that you don't get it on the other side just like you know get off of that and then change the angle up with the way the cucumber is set well pickle set so once you do that you want to get like a little bit of a darker color I will say just go down a little bit more just you know hit it off with that darkness around and make sure you get those you know those strikes in there and then which I like to do is there's the um, cross hatching mark it's called soft sand um, I usually put it up to like a bigger you know a big brush and just you know powder it off on top of what I've did and then grab a light like a real light green color that's from that pickle and just airbrush it up on top you know airbrush just a little bit of it it could almost be yellow in its own way and hit it off with that sand you know just over on top because you know pickles aren't perfect so you want to give it that illusion so just mix it up with your airbrush and your sand um, you can even hit it off with white because white tends to make things look a lot shiny um, pickles they got a shine to them so white is perfect for something like this I will say um, you know just to give it that shine that it needs just so you could get that look and um, you can even bring the shine downward 
so that it could match up with some of the strikes that you do have that's dark um the reason why i do this is because of the contrast and just the the way the contrast looks against you know the the lights with the darks it makes it pop more than what it looks like and your pickle should look something similar you know to what i have here it's just like specky with um the strikes and all that the you know the lines and all that so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do that you want to do that same technique to the onions because the onions have that same texture and um when it comes to the whites of the cucumber uh, i would like to say you do the same technique that you do on your tomatoes you want to do on that so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna finish it all up and i'm gonna show you guys what the burger is gonna look at the end so here we go all right so basically your burger is done the only thing that i will say is that you would need to add is i like a little bit more highlight to the bun because you know the bun is um the bun is where it's at so um you know you want to give that shine to the bun and i like to just add that with my uh, airbrush tool so what i do is um you just make it nice and you know medium size go around it like just a little bit just on the edges just bring it outward it's like painting basically then what you want to do is you want to hit it off with like some solid whites and then just you know just go upward and in, into like almost a cross hatching way so that you could get that that gloss of the bun you know you just want that gloss and just hit it off and I do it on both sides because um, you want it to look extra juicy I guess you want it to make it you want to make it appetizing like yeah this is anime type of burger <laughs> but you just want to make it appetizing for the people who's looking at it and they're like yo that's a juicy burger I want it so yeah um, I like to do that on the top of the bun and then sometimes I like to do it in the bottom of the bun it looks like the bottom would need it so let me go ahead and grab that and that's what your burger should look like again guys it's not gonna look exactly the same as a regular old burger that's the same thing that I say about my hot dog um, it doesn't look the same but it gives you the illusion especially in anime what it's supposed to look like so if you like this tutorial hit that like and if you're like hey Vess, i like what you do here and you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe and become one of our family members uh, you, you can become a pulse and one of our family members uh, we do art related content tutorials and all that good stuff i uh, remember guys i stream on fridays 7 p.m eastern standard time so make sure you be there so they can have fun with us yo <laughs> all right guys again thank you for liking sharing telling a friend and helping a friend have an amazing rest of the day bye bye